Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a channel love letter from the Divine Masculine. So let's see what the Divine Masculine wants to communicate to the Divine Feminine. Thank you guys so much for your support. I will be doing giveaways at my 12,000 mark. It's a little bit too soon to do it for the 11,000 because I wasn't really putting it out there as much that I wanted you guys to comment. All right, so... Let's see what the masculine wants to say. Channel love letter from the divine masculine. I know that you're upset with me because I've never taken this relationship forward in the way that you were hoping. You want me to feel confident and strong in my heart center and be courageous, but I'm just not as courageous as you. There's still a lot of things that I need to heal. There's still things I'm still working on in myself. I do wish to resolve this. I do wish to have this dynamic with you and I'm still waiting on the right time. I still don't know when that will be or how that will look but it's like I'm waiting for something to happen I'm waiting for me to get to this point and I'm not taking any action and I know that really frustrates you I'm trying to figure things out from this spiritual level I know that you're really spiritual and I've never um I've never been quite spiritual and I still have a hard time matching you in this way but it feels ever since I met you, something is calling me this higher purpose. This situation has actually sort of um, knocked me off my horse. Like I kind of thought I knew who I was before you and now I'm just confused. Now I don't know, um, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm doing. I, you know, I move a lot slower than I know that you want. And I am trying to work on things. I am trying to find the answers, but I'm, I'm not as confident as you are. I'm not as sure about things as you are. A lot of things are happening in my life that are, I feel like trying to wake me up are really um, jolting me, okay? But I still can't fig seem to figure out what it is that it's trying to show me. I know you've said things and I know that that's, you know, what I should feel, but there's there's a disconnect in me and I don't know if it's fear, I don't know if it's confusion. The thing is, I'm still really attracted to you. I still have your image in my mind. I still remember the way you looked, you know, that day, that one day that you're thinking of, I, I remember it too. I haven't forgotten your body, your, your face, the way we connected, the way our eyes looked at each other. And like I said, I even look at your pictures. I know you feel like maybe I blocked you or you blocked me and there's no way, but where there's a will, there's a way and I've saved them, I look at them. I still wanna stay connected to you. I still can't let you go and I don't understand what it is. I send you signs. I know that um, you may doubt them, but I am sending them. So trust that it is me sending you them, okay? Trust that um, I'm trying to stay connected to you in the only way I can, all right? Through signs. Like I said, I feel this connection is pushing me to be more spiritual. It's pushed me to look at aspects of myself. It's pushed me to realize that I'm not as together as I thought I was. I was always attracted to you from the moment I first saw you. I was captivated by your beauty. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I wasn't trying to take advantage of you. I was just attracted to you and I still miss you. I'm still trying to stay connected to your energy. That's what I'm saying. My love for you is unconditional and never change. I know that I've maybe said these things, but my higher self feels this unconditional bond for you. And I still have this 
hope that no matter what's happened with us, we can have something beautiful. Something can still come out of this beauty, this out of this darkness, okay? Because I, I see the beauty in you. Like I said, you're beautiful. Like there's beauty here. You're, you brought beauty to my life. You just emanate this beauty. And um, I still see a future with us. I know I've told you that there isn't, but I do. I still see a future with us. I still feel um, someday we'll be together. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. I listen to 70s music every time I hear, oh, I just heard a song, a Donovan song today. But any 70s classic rock makes me feel connected to you like we knew each other in this lifetime or we were born in this lifetime. I just, the 70s um, makes me feel that free-spirited, happy feeling. And I part of me wishes I could just live in the 70s with you and I can, we could just have this love that had no worries, that we could just have this joy where there's no games, you know? Um, it just all became so convoluted, this connection with all these games, these mental mind games. I play with myself even. Uh, I'm just trying to be responsible. I'm just trying to make it to my daily tasks. I'm just trying to focus on things because this connection makes me feel honestly unraveled. It makes me feel like really confused, okay? and. It's easier to focus on like mundane tasks because I don't know, like I feel it's just too much to get lost in this like love affair. This attraction that I have for you is just too much. It felt like it controlled me and I couldn't control it. And that's like, I want to be the controller. I want to have the controller of a video game. Um, I'm mourning you right now. I miss you. That goodbye really hurt me. I'm in pain. I'm trying to be respectful and leave you alone and let you mourn because I can't give you what you want right now. <sighs> That's, yeah, I mean, it's almost like I've, it's almost like you had a funeral and I visited your grave site, but I keep going back. I keep, I can't seem to break away from this connection. It's like, it feels dead. It feels like it died, but yet it hasn't. It's like so strange. I told you there's tower moments going on in my life. There's major things happening. There's just things that are exploding in my face, you know, reminding me that I don't have control over every situation. I wish that I could spend my life with you. That's what I'm saying. I wish that we could just like ride off into the sunset and forget about everything that happened. Like this is my higher self. I want to be with you. You are my person. With one look of, I had vision, I told you, I admired your beauty, I remember you in that sundress, I always looked at you and obviously was attracted to you, but it wasn't just that, it was bigger than that, it wasn't just getting in bed with you. There's things in my life keeping me hostage, and I know I can't keep playing the victim, but there's things that are just making me feel like my hands are tied. I want to have a future with you though. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's you that I want to have a future with. I'm trying to build boundaries. I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to not engage in toxic behaviors. I'm trying to do healthy things. I don't want to be the person I was in the beginning with you. I don't want to make the same mistakes. I want to show you and the people I'm around me that I'm a better person, that I'm improved. I'm telling you, these are signs. These are numbers I'm sending you to explain to you what's going on with me. I hope that somehow you could just raise your vibration because whatever you're focusing on is what I'm focusing on and that's what's building the dynamic of our connection, okay? Don't be in fear, my love. Just be in a place of happiness and joy. I wanna see you happy. This year has been so weird. 
and I'm just trying to do the right thing and I'm just trying to um, I'm just trying to do the right thing to be honest I know you put your heart on the line so many times with me. You put yourself out there and I never took that courageous step like you did. And I know this all feels like excuses. This feels like, but it's just that I'm not the person you would need me to be. I still dream of you though. I still connect to you in the 5D. That's what I'm saying. I still yearn for you. I still miss you. We're still always connected, okay? So don't, don't doubt my love for you. You know, listen to the signs. Remain optimistic because I'm, I still love you. I'm, I wish that we could go back to the beginning where it was just easy, where we were just light and free and none of these problems happened. It was all just so easy. The honeymoon phase. Also, I think of you when I'm outside with nature and bees and I don't know. You're sweet to me. You're still like the sweetness in my life. I know that I've been distant. I know that I haven't connected with you the way that you want me to. But I'm just trying to protect you. I'm trying to protect myself. But I still feel so much passion for you. I still feel so much desire for you. But it's just not right because I can't follow through in the way you need me to and I wish that we could just have joyous times I wish I could see you happy I wish that you and I could just celebrate and just let go of our worries and our cares and all these things that happen between us I, that's what I'm saying. Don't be in a scarcity mindset, okay? Don't be negative. Don't be afraid because I don't want you to feel like I don't love you because I do. That's the thing. I want you to remain optimistic. This year has been really challenging and I've had to make decisions that just I'm trying to be positive about my situation and I don't want you to hold on to this fear, okay? I'm just trying to be emotionally mastered I wasn't in the past I was very emotionally unstable I'm trying to keep hold myself back because it's just not the right thing right now but deep down I do feel like I missed out on you you were the one that got away I missed an opportunity but I'll never show you it because I don't want to it's not right right now okay There's no one else on this planet I want to go through this dance of life with you or my other half, my best friend, my lover, my plus one, my person, my soulmate. Let's dance this dance together for the rest of our lives. I miss, you know, listening to music with you. I wish that we could dance together. I've tried to move on. I've tried to forget. I've tried to love again. I've tried to remind myself the reasons why we had to let go of one another were good reasons. But when two hearts are destined, there's no good reason. The distance, separation, my grief and loneliness for missing you. It's all too much. Please come back. That's what I'm saying. I miss you. I can't seem to find a reason to completely let you go. I'm still holding on. I keep holding on. I have a lot going on in my head that I cannot seem to make sense of, okay? But I'm getting it. I'm starting to understand our connection more and more with each passing day. I'm awakening to this connection, okay? I'm getting it. I get the things you've said, the things you've said play over my mind. And this is the thing. I just can't, I have still karma that I have to sort out with other people, okay? It's not so easy.
I want you to feel good enough because you were always good enough, okay? I know you doubted your confidence, but you were always good enough. It was me. I wasn't good enough for you, okay? You were kind, you were gentle, you were loving, and I didn't extend that same kindness to you, and I blamed it on you, but really, it was my fault. You had an open heart, and I didn't. It was my commitment issues, and that's what I'm saying. I wish that I could commit to you. I wish that I could be the man that you need me to be, but I'm just not there yet, and I know this is ultimately what you want and what you deserve. I'm retreating because I feel it's the best thing for our connection, okay? I still wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. So please say to me, you think you'd understand. When I see the sun down, I wanna hold. I want a family with you. I want the whole thing with you. I want the whole shebang with you. You are my soul family. You are my love. You are the person I want to spend my life with. And like I said, I'm still looking at your social media, okay? I'm still keeping tabs on you. But I'm playing it safe because it's easier this way, okay? And I'm doing this because I'm trying to protect you. I don't feel I'm ready to give you what you need. And it's safer this way. I have other things that I have to deal with karmically as well. But no matter what, we are always connected. Two hearts beat as one, okay? But we need time to transform. But no, if you see a butterfly, if you're surrounded by them, that's our connection. That's the beauty of our connection. No time, space, anything can break that, can break this bond that we have. I want you to feel peace in your heart and I want us to eventually make up, okay? <laughs> This butterfly, I mean, every time I see a butterfly, I think of you. And I know and hope that you think of me too, okay? All right, guys, so that's your channel love letter. I hope it res resonated with you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.